This is Sid with your cross talk for today, September 16th. Last week, I went salmon fishing on Lake Michigan with three of my best friends. It's been an annual event for over 30 years for us to drive to Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and then spend two or three days together. When you're on the water in a small fishing boat, there is plenty of time to talk. Naturally, there was a lot of catching up with each other's families and reminiscing about the good old days. But also, there was talk about God, church, and our faith. Back home, as I reflected on the trip, I thought about how blessed I am to have Christian friends, guys who are fun to be around and, at the same time, encourage me in the right direction. God advises us in Proverbs 12, 26, the righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. What's this saying to us? It means that the people you're around, your friends, the people you follow, they have influence over your life. So choose them carefully. Too often so-called friends lead us astray. Their priorities and values are worldly rather than godly. And once you're in that kind of a relationship, it can be very difficult to break the chain. But with prayer and God's help, you can. Seek friends who are a positive influence. As Henry Ford once said, my best friend is the one who brings out the best in me. Our best friend is Jesus. He is such a good friend. He was willing to die for us so that we might live, live for him here on earth and live with him eternally in heaven. He will never lead us astray. In fact, his life is the perfect one to emulate. So spend time with him, get close to him, let him be your best friend. A great way to do that is to join us here at St. John's in our Red Letter Challenge reading the words of Jesus for the next 40 days. He will bring out the best in us. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.